Now I'm going to discuss another problem relating to Born approximation in which uh, I'm going to find out the differential cross section under Born approximation for spherical potential and energy is not necessarily low. So now I will again recall the formula for f of theta phi. It is scattering amplitude and this scattering amplitude is minus m over 2 pi h cross square and this is e raised to per iota k prime minus k factor into r naught and v r naught and d cube r naught right so let us try to look at this part so Diagrammatically, as I know that uh, this is the z direction, and and let me call it as k prime it is equal to k z cap, and it is uh, another direction. It is k r cap, and let me call it as k vector. And the difference between these two using triangle of vector addition, it is kappa is equal to k prime minus k factor and this is the direction of incident wave and this is the scattered wave direction this is for the scattered wave and this is for the incident wave as i discussed also in the earlier lecture and let me assume that uh, one more thing the angle between this and uh, this vector and uh, this is the axis and it is making an angle theta and let me this call it as r naught cap right so if kappa and r naught makes an angle theta naught and so theta naught means what it means i can uh, rewrite this thing and uh, this expression will become it's equal to f theta phi is equal to minus m over 2 pi h cross square e raised to per iota kappa minus kappa r naught and cos of theta naught because it is kappa and it is r naught and both are making an angle theta then it can be written as uh, like a dot product so kappa dot r cos theta naught and uh, we are not will remain as it is and it is uh, d cube r naught let me modify it it is 2 pi h cross square it is e raised to per iota kappa r naught cos of theta and it is v r naught and this is d cube r naught let me try to express it in terms of uh, spherical polar coordinates so if i express it in spherical polar coordinates then i can write down it as like this it is r naught square sine square theta naught it is d r naught d theta naught and d phi naught and this d phi is and this is basically a triple integral and this d phi is basically when i integrate it over phi 0 to 2 pi then its value comes out to be 2 pi and in place of r naught i am replacing the things with r so it is a uh, minus m over 2 pi h cross square the integral over phi will be 2 pi because it is a constant so this is 2 pi and here it is 0 to infinity r naught square and here i will take integral 0 to pi and uh, it is e raised to power iota kappa r cos theta 
sin theta d theta and it is dr again sorry it is dt uh, sorry it's dr right over this and r naught is simply replaced by r so if i do this then yeah so it is minus m over 2 pi h cross square and 2 pi this 2 pi will cancel out with it and as i know from previous lectures that its value is a standard value and it can be written as 2 sin kappa r over kappa r right if i put its value here as i did this type of integral in the earlier lecture so it is minus m over h cross square it is 0 to infinity it is r square 2 sin kappa r over kappa r this r will cancel out with it and kappa can be taken outside and it is integral over r so therefore f of theta i can take it as uh, minus 2m over h cross square kappa integral 0 to infinity r v r oh sorry i missed the v r the value of v r because that, that that was also sitting here so let me put that here and then this is here and sign kappa r and it is dr so this is the required expression for uh, scattering amplitude and if i take want to calculate d sigma over d omega then it is f of theta mod square right if we take it square then that gives me the value of this one right so in this way i can calculate or we can calculate the differential cross section for the potential where it is spherical and uh, energy is not necessarily low because then energy will become necessarily low in that case that uh, part will become constant exponential part right so that's all for this part